This thing was in perfect freaking condition and the dog chewed it up. <laughs> what up guys? Welcome back to the garage, man. Dude, I legit, I've been telling myself to go out there and get that, that speed cable off of the hatch because, oh. If you look at the one that's on the sedan, where is it at? Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's the reason why. And dude, this thing, it looks like this has been like this for a really long time. It's all rusted to shit, but. Anyhow, I've always planned on going and grabbing that one off of the parts hatch and just kind of crossing my fingers that they're the same. Uh, <laughs> it definitely wasn't like that originally, man. God, that dog, bro, freaking pisses me off. And I went through the hell of getting this thing out of the back of the gauge cluster before I even realized it, too. Oh, seems to spin okay. What would you guys do? Use it? <laughs> I mean, what's the worst case here? It's not going to work? I'm pretty sure it'll still work. I mean, it is spinning, but it just looks like hell. <sighs> Whatever, dude. I'm gonna try it. If it gets my speedometer working, hell yeah. Hold up. Guess what? They're fucking different. <laughs> One of the things that I think has always been really cool about Hondas is the fact that they're like Legos, bro. Like, you can use. Like, you know, between B-series engines, swapping heads around with different blocks and different transmissions. Uh, same with like D-series and... But dude, some of the freaking differences that I'm running into here lately just blow my mind, bro. It's like, why is that even different? Why is the speed cable for a 1991 Honda Civic sedan different from a 1991 Honda Civic freaking hatchback, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, they're the exact same car. Like, the back proportions and everything are different, but, ugh. I've also learned with these corner lights, like, uh, obviously CRX, hatch, and sedan, the corner lights are all different. They all have different shapes, but, they're also all different from 88, 89 to 90, 91. So just right there from CRX, 88, 89, 90, 91, hatch, same years, sedan, same years. Dude, there's six different freaking corner lights. And then to add to the confusion, USDM and JDM and EDM are all freaking different as well. So. Like there is just, there's like 152 different corner lights for a 1988 to 1991 fucking Honda Civic, bro. Anyhow, just kind of lining these things up roughly and following it down. You can see that the one that we actually pulled off of the sedan is a lot longer, which, uh, you know, I was like, okay, the lengths are different. But you come to this end right here where it actually plugs into the gauge cluster. Now, I don't know if this is a difference between focus. Now, I don't know if this is the difference between automatic and manual, but you see the one that came from the hatch has that stud in the center, and then the one that came from the sedan doesn't. So I'd imagine the actual gauge cluster on the sedan has this piece, has that little stud right there built into it. I don't know, dude, whatever. Whatever, over it. Oh. 
I was in a fucking tightening, motherfucker. So these intersex calipers, to get them to fit, you have to actually mount them upside down. Because if you don't, it has this little like, it, if you look at the caliper itself, this mass that's on the back right here, it kind of favors to one side or the other. Uh, if you mount this right side up, this piece right here actually hits down here. And yeah, long story short, you have to mount them upside down. So with them upside down, the bleeder is on the bottom. Yeah, it's on the bottom. So therefore, when we bled these brakes before, I didn't get all the air out. <laughs> uh, and I quickly found out how whenever we took the car for its first little drive down the street, they're just spongy and like you have to pump it up to actually get any kind of brake. So I'm hoping that with them actually removed from the car, I unbolted them and I have them positioned up here on top of the rotor so that we're, we still have the pads uh, clamping down on the rotor. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up this little bleeder kit. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, come on, where'd it go? Ah. I just ran to O'Reilly's and I got this little bleeder kit. Uh, yeah, I guess you fill this thing up with, I don't know, I haven't read the instructions completely. Anyhow, you guys get it. I'm gonna bleed them again, but now this time with the bleeder actually at the top. So hopefully, we can get all the air out this time. If you're wondering why I keep ducking, because I have a cord running across. I don't know. I was just picturing the video. I just look like. Ribbon! So we missed the ready up. I'm going into a live, like a stream or a game right now. Pump it like four times, like, and then hold it all the way down. Again. Dude, I'm about to lose my shit, man. I swear to God, I'm about ready to lose my shit. So, my son and I were working on the brakes, and then I noticed this. All those puddles right there, that is all brake fluid. That is just leaking off of various spots on the subframe. <sighs> I mean, brake fluid eats up paint. But honestly, the subframe paint getting eaten up is the least of my freaking worries. I honestly don't give a shit. What I care about is the fact that my proportioning valve is leaking. Uh, and whenever I had him pump the brakes, it's leaking out of this little weep hole that's right there on the front, right there. That little black circle. So, not knowing at all what in the hell that thing that's leaking brake fluid is, um, I started researching it, I looked it up, and come to find out that that's kind of like a water pump. You know how the water pump starts to leak whenever it's going bad? Same damn thing with your proportioning valve, bro. That thing starts to leak whenever the seal inside is starting to go bad. So, um, like, and it's not just a, it's not just a small little leak, bro. You guys saw those fucking puddles on the ground. It's... It's leaking pretty bad, and that's the first that I've seen it, so it it must be progressively getting worse, I'd imagine. So I need a new 4040 prop valve. Oh my god, dude. Well, it's the next day, and I got our 4040 valve swapped out. This is the old one pile of freaking parts in there and I got a new one on the car thankfully it was quite a setback dude it took me the rest of the night uh, I went and met up with Antonio and he hooked it up he had another 4040 valve sitting around so got the new one on got the brakes all bled so we're golden now dude I went around my son and I went around I did all four points I went around it twice um, probably filled this thing up like three times I, I need to top it off now. Got all the air out of the system, I hope. 
I really hope uh, I got the calipers mounted back up in the rear. I swept and mopped my garage because there's literally brake fluid all over the place. But uh, you could pump the living shit out of the brakes and nothing is dripping now. Which is most certainly a good sign, you know what I'm saying? So finally now we can move on, dude. Need to do the pins on the back. I've got a bunch of these little push lock things. So... What we're going to end up doing is putting one on each side and they're going to be actually on the window right here. Just drill a hole in the Lexan because if you look inside of here, that's where the shock bolts up at the bottom. So we have a place to actually bolt up like a little bracket to put the pin and same on the other side. So now I just got to fabricate something to go right there to hold our pin and then I could drill the holes and put these little push locks right there. So I've been working on this for a couple of hours now and I've come up with a couple different brackets that unfortunately just didn't work out. First thing is that little license plate bracket. Uh, I got it all cut out, rounded the edges and bent it so that it's like an L shape and got this thing screwed in here. But the problem with this is that it just isn't stiff enough. You know what I mean? Whenever you get it bolted down, it flex like that. So that's no bueno. And the next thing I was working on were these things. And I was actually kind of proud of these, man. They're coming out to look kind of cool. But the problem with these, just kind of hold it up here. There's a hole in the backside for mounting it right here. And the problem that I ended up running into with this is whenever you tighten it down, it just, it wasn't sitting correctly, like the angle of it. And so I tried to kind of bend it to make it sit correctly. And long story short, these were not working out. Uh, it's kind of funny what it is I made these things out of. Moving on. So this last method that I came up with is actually perfect, bro. And I wish I would have figured this out a long time ago before busting out the damn grinder and the sander and, and spending hours on this, dude. I mean, I had a full-on mess going trying to fabricate this shit that I had to clean up. And now what I've come up with is just the most simple thing in the world are these little eye bolts. These are for a set of hood pins that I ordered that I did not end up using. Uh, so, I mean, I, I have this sitting around. And if you look at that little eye bolt, that little eye hole right there for the pin to go in, our pin bolts up into that perfectly. So, and then that gives us basically a bolt that we're able to just find somewhere to drill a hole bolt this in and then not only is it adjustable up and down but we can adjust the pin in and out so this just gives us even more adjustability and i think it's gonna end up looking cleaner so these little spots right here on the back of the hatch uh that little square spot what i'm gonna do is just drill it out and then we can put this guy in there and there's one on this uh on the opposite side and they're in the exact same place so i know that they're going to be uh symmetrical and i don't have to measure anything i can just drill these holes out bigger slide this guy in put a bolt on both sides and we're freaking good to go So I got the latches finished and I'm gonna show you guys what it is I had to go through to actually get these to work So there was a lot of adjusting up down up down and then this in and out trying to get it correct To where it actually lands on that nice and centered uh, I ended up having to bend this upwards so that it'll work So not only do I have to bend the pins But this side over here the actual latch I had to grind it down that little lip and just kind of make like a like a ramp for it to actually push this up into it. But it works out pretty good, man. Now there's two ways to do this. You can set it down gently and then just kind of push it. Push, push, and it holds it nice and tight. Doesn't go anywhere. Open it, you push your buttons and then it opens up. Or you can just do this, drop it. And it latches in, so. Hell yeah, I'm not complaining.
<sighs> Got the torque spec set on all the wheels. I put all my wheels to 100 foot pounds. I think it calls for like 90 or something like that, but I've just, I've always put them to 100. Here's what it is. Uh, I also got the intake put back on. When I noticed that whenever I installed this intake uh, the first time that it is really close to this brake line right here. So I went ahead and I split a piece of rubber hose and I wrapped it around and zip tied it on there just so if it does come in contact, see I can shake it like that and actually hit it. Uh, it's not gonna cause any damage or make any annoying ass sounds, but damn, this thing needs an alignment really bad, bro. I could tell just by looking at it that it's off. And that's the only thing we got left on our list, bro. Then the whole thing is done, other than getting the car tuned, of course. So, <sighs> we're so damn close, man. We're that freaking close. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think of how the uh, rear hatch latches came out. Um, what else? Oh, we got the brakes done. And I still don't have a damn speedometer inside of the sedan. But it is what it is, bro. Peace out and I'll see you on the next one. Attention? Definitely. I literally think the entire neighborhood's outside right now. Yeah, it's just in the looks. <laughs> Are you dogging me? Yeah. Oh, fuck my neighbors. Mm. Okay. Anyway.